And Mickey Ward and Arturo Gatti start again with what may or may not be round 11 of their hellacious 10 round fight in May of this year. Well, George, the central question is, can Arturo Gatti box and continue to box throughout the evening? Well, he's got to establish himself or reestablish himself as the boxer with the jab. Go down to the body. That ensure that he didn't get knocked out in the latter rounds in the first fight. That's both insurance that both fighters will be weak if the weak one get weak. Arturo countering over Mickey Ward's left with a right hand. Ward didn't land until the third round last time. His patented left hook to the body, targeted to the liver, which frees his opponents and forces them to fight Ward style. Ward's already been touched with a right hand by Gotti, and it didn't seem to phase him much. There may already be a little blood from Mickey Ward's nose. In recent years, Arturo Gatti's conditioning and stamina have improved greatly. He admitted to us yesterday that there's still room for improvement. He thinks he may have made it this time around. Ward starts to use his jab. That's good. The guys boxing you didn't return the favor. Gatti throwing a lot of punches early on. He was the more active fighter in the first fight, throwing 76 punches around. Both guys better realize this is a brand new fight. Don't try to continue something that's already ended months and months and months ago. Forget about the old fight. Good sharp right hand lead by Arturo Gatti, followed up with a left hand. Ward launching most of his punches across the top dueling with Gaddy upstairs instead of working to the body. Whoa, what a good right to the body by Gaddy that time. And a follow-up left hand to the cheek of Gaddy by Ward. That hurt. Overhand right by Gaddy. He's got his man hurt. If he only knew. One thing Gaddy did in the first fight a lot was throw a lot of energy sapping punches to the gloves. Of Ward. He's being a little bit more judicious and economical here in the first round. But he's landing with relative ease. Uh, stop on, stop on. Wait. And as a result, it's been a big round so far, at least ah. so it appears to these eyes for Arturo Gatti. Every time you let him bang bang put the right hand okay. come back with a jab come back with a hook very good okay don't just get caught pulling out everything is beautiful just keep doing what you're doing stay low one on the back of my hand okay stay low baby stay low and you can do this all night you understand me okay just stay focused. here's an example of some judicious economical punching by Gaddy here are the body shots after the head shot Compu box numbers in round one. Gaddy 26 out of 79, 33%. Ward throwing only 39 punches in the round. More or less allowed Gaddy to have his way. Arturo threw 43 jabs in the round. That's more than he'd like to throw. He wants to get it to 25. There's the first rocking left hook from Ward. It caught Gaddy flush on the chin. And now he gets it to the body. And the right hand lands across the top. And now here comes Ward's first big rally. The thing about God that he was able to land some hard body shots and overhand right. Takes a lot of oxygen. You've got to recover from those. And that's what he tried to do is coast for a second and got himself punch himself. And now here comes Arturo coming back to match Ward's intensity. Well, he was trying to retaliate because it seemed that he was being hit while he was being held. That's the fighter's instinct. Ward has 
has a better jab, left jab. I don't understand why he doesn't use it. Let his head go. Let his head go. Okay, come on. It's a little longer with his left jab, Ward is. Why not use it more? Well, maybe because he's developed that jab relatively late in his career and doesn't believe in it the way he believes in the other weapons in his arsenal. There's Arturo firing punches into Ward's guard. And now he lands the uppercut and lands a follow-up right hand big. Got his corner told him to stay low. Now I understand what they told him. It seems that Ward is not effective if he takes his head down a little lower. I'd like to see if that really works. There's Ward gunning for that left hook to the body. Right hand across the top. And now Caddy tries to retaliate with his own left hook to the body. Ward is about as, as tough as you can be as a boxer. God has got no right to do anything but box this man. Low blow by Gotti, completely ignored by referee Earl Morton. Well, Gotti is landing vicious, vicious body punches. And he seems to be, make his man miss when he bows low. I think there's an abrasion on the bridge of Ward's nose now. With a little show of blood from there. Ward has a little bump in the middle of his nose and it gets abraded in every one of his fights. Am I wrong, Jim, or are these, these rounds just flying by? Well, there are only two of them. <laughs> but it's good stuff to watch once again. to the body okay don't get caught pulling out Thank you, Thank okay you, well, speed. give me speed and let's double up on our jab now okay double up on the jab okay as soon as you there's the left hook that ward landed on gaddy didn't have a lot of steam gaddy's uppercut these fighters you've heard of hit and don't be hit with gaddy and ward it's hit be hit and hit again Arturo Gatti promised not to throw 75 punches per round. He didn't want to leave Mickey Ward that many countering opportunities. In the first two rounds, Gatti has averaged 77 punches around. Hands a hard right hand across the top against Ward. Ward 32 out of 92, starting at a measured pace, just as he did in the last fight. Ward has got a good left jab. He's able to get his right hand in when he uses it. And of course, that opens things up for your left hook. Corner should tell him to jab this man. Jab Gotti. Jab him. Ward's trainer is his half brother, Dickie Eklund, who has been at the helm of Ward's boxing career pretty much throughout. There's a great right hand by Gotti. And Mickey Ward goes down. You don't see that very often. And Ward's still wobbly as Earl Morton picks up the couch. Picking Ward off with a solid right hand shot. Let's see if Arturo can finish. Solid right hand there. Uppercut landing. Ward still punching back. Mickey Ward is very wobbly. He has no legs. But he's got a ton of heart. So far, all he can do is defend himself. He's not throwing any punches. Ward has turned 37 since that last fight. Age has got nothing to do here, Larry. Forget it. Don't even go there. What a right hand by Mickey Ward. 
momentarily stops Gaddy in his tracks. Now he lands the left hook to the liver. Gaddy's frozen. Arturo's hands momentarily froze as Mickey Ward nailed him with that body shot. Did, Ward, did Gaddy punch himself out temporarily? No, he just got hit back. This is a fight. Come on, Jim, tell us. You don't need a blow-by-blow -blow man to describe this. You know what you're watching. Mickey Ward may make it out of the round. What an unbelievable lift it would be for Ward if he can survive what he took from Gaddy in this round. They're doing it again in Atlantic City. Gaddy Ward 2 already lives up to expectations. perfect storms and here's another one how who would have expected Ward to survive and come back the way he did by copy box numbers Arturo Gatti threw 90 punches in the third round landing 33 Ward 18 out of 50 both guys rocked their opponent in the round. Gaddy almost scored a knockout. Okay. It all came about because of a counter right hand by Gaddy. A counter. Yeah. He's waiting to counter tonight. Okay, Rick, stop watching. Stop watching. But at, and at one point along the way, George, he left himself open for that vicious left hook that changes your life. Tell me about it. <laughs> Get your hands free. There's the uppercut again, and another vicious left hook to the body by Gaddy. Ward still seeming to try to find himself after the punishment he took in the third. He's turned southpaw. Switching. Come on, get that hand. Yeah, he's more or less in a southpaw stance, but somewhat just squared up. But yeah, the right hand in the lead as Ward goes southpaw to land his left hand. left hook to the back. Now Ward back in his conventional stance. Gaddy pawing at his left eye, which is already swelling shut. And Ward is making Gaddy fight more than he really wants to. Ward has moved out of this traditional style of Left foot forward, right foot forward. He's walking into his man, not allowing him to pump his jab at all. You got to punch or move back. I stop punching, stop punching. I see him. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Ward has a style. And now the blood begins to flow around Gaddy's left eye. It's been one of his Achilles heels throughout his career. You know, Ward has this style where he comes forward with his gloves, wants you to punch yourself out and then punch you. Gaddy is trying to, when he stops punching, he's trying to hold him. Jim, this is not about money. This is a fight. Believe me, this is not about money. See, that's the point I was making, George, with that question. I'm not sure they could fight any other way for $10 rather than a million and a half. This is about pride and dignity. Exactly. This is, tell, this is telling that, look, this is the family I'm from. This is the country I'm from. This is who I am. Absolutely right. Well said, George. It comes out of their core as human beings. A fight to the finish. Oh, 
Saw the combi box numbers for round four. Gaddy 26 out of 85. Ward 22 out of 55. Ward stumbled back to his corner at the end of the round. Harold, how do you have it through four? <laughs> okay, Jim. Four to nothing, 40 to 35. Arturo Gaddy. You got to give him an extra point in the third round. By the way, Jim, if this fight gets stopped at kind of the cuts, it, it's a TKO because Earl Morton didn't say anything about headbutts. I stop punching. Walk it out. Ward is throwing to the body just like a punching bag that he's going to got his body. Right, stop Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Everybody tries to throw a left hook to the body, George. Why is Ward so much more effective than most other guys? Well, he believes in it. When you believe in a certain punch, you are better at it. That's all there is to it. That's that job by Ward, and he just barely misses the right hand. Ward can keep up some jab, and he's a better fighter tonight. Gaddy moving once again on his legs. Could be the key to winning the fight for him. As the left jab. Got a right hand again. Gaddy's been successful with those. Oh, boy, you better make sure when that jab come, goes out, if, if you're not jabbing, your hands are up, because this Gaddy will counter punch you. Arturo showing some rare defensive skills and flurries off the ropes to nail Ward. He actually ducked and slipped a couple punches there. And another one. Nice to see that guy that can really box some too. <laughs> and can remember to do it in the heat of battle. A lot of great body punches. Ward takes it to the body pretty well. Ward is not stopping at all. He keeps coming forward. All right, break. Stop punching. Stop punching. And okay, that wears move. on you mentally, doesn't it? It does. When, when, when the fight, the referee tells you to break and you're the one holding on, that works on you mentally. you beating the guy to the body and you're the one holding on. Ward nails Gaddy again upstairs with a counter right. Arturo blinking away the blood in his left eye. Great uppercut left hook combo by Gaddy. Here comes Ward again. Won't take no for an answer. Gaddy lands the right hand flush. Ward just regroups and starts popping his jab. Punches like these make it seem that it's now Gaddy's fight to lose. Total in round five, copy box numbers. Gaddy threw 84 punches, landed 30, 
Ward throwing 77 punches, the most he's thrown in the fight, landing 21. Arturo Gatti has not lived up to his promise to throw many fewer punches than in the first fight, be more selective, prevent himself from tiring down in the face of Ward's attack. Instead, he's fought very much the same fight as he fought in New England. He's just done a little better with it so far. is now looking to counter over those body shots. Part of Gaddy's answer to what he would do to prevent Ward's body attack from wilting him, as it did in New England, was to press his own body attack and try to take a lot of starch out of Ward. He's landed some great body shots. Ward's holding up reasonably well. You know what I like about Mickey Ward? He's been hit below the belt, I don't know how many times tonight, and he hasn't complained or looked to the referee for any excuses. That's what you call a man. Nor has he tried to retaliate by hitting Gaddy back low. Seldom you're gonna run into a man like that, I'm telling you. Oh, this is a sportsman. He just keeps coming. Just there was another coming. one right on the belt. Get your hands, Move your hands out there. Mickey Ward works as a road grader in the, when he's not fighting, sitting on top of a big steamroller, and that's how he fights. He just comes straight ahead like a steamroller. He even went back to work on the paving crew and ran the steamroller some after his big win over Gaddy in their first fight. I've seen so many supposedly great fighters, when you hit them below the belt, they fall and scream. This guy has not complained. Ward almost pins Gaddy against the ropes. Arturo dances away. The legs still working, the feet still moving for Gaddy. Gaddy is the boxer tonight. Come on, let's walk, clean walk, clean walk. Let's walk it out, He's doing an excellent job of boxing. Jab, right hand, move out of the way. That was the plan. That is the formula for trying to avoid what took place in New England, the damage of a head-on-head -head confrontation. As soon as you get inside, spin out to your left. Spin out to your left. Do you hear me? Don't get inside here with no body shot. Come Mike, on. give me that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at me. Come on. I got to breathe. Arturo Gatti threw 75 punches. That's his lowest number of the fight. Still more than he intended to throw. But the opportunities have been easy and abundant. He landed 27 of them. Mickey Ward, 12 out of 62 for 19%. It's been a rough go for Ward. He may well have lost every round, but rest assured he's still in the fight and doing damage as they go along. Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim, 16 to 53, six rounds to nothing, Arturo Thunder Gaddy. Jim, we all see the clean effect of punching he's doing, but the ring generalship is unbelievable. Back it up, just set up those shots. As soon as he stops, he lets go with a beautiful combination. Gaddy, because of clean punching and ring generalship. Double left hook, upstairs, downstairs by Gaddy. Body shot followed by a vicious left hook to the chin by Ward. Gaddy still showing the energy and the commitment to box, box, box. Stop, stop. I got you, I got you. 
Come on, man. Let's go, babe. Woo! <laughs> Left hook to the body by Gotti. That's a beauty. His corner told him to get low, and whenever he does, he seemed to have a little resting area. Gotti does. First minute and 15 seconds of the round, very effective for Gotti. Finally, Ward lands a punch. Where's your head, man? Arturo taking the start out of Ward once again with that concerted body attack. Counter right one more time. Well, it's a brilliant plan by Gaddy. Ward is regarded as a tremendous left hooker, great body punter. Gaddy has come in and attacked his body and has countered his left hook with right hands. He's been doing a lot of good counter right hands. That's got Mickey Ward almost on the defensive. He don't want, just doesn't want to rush in on that counter right hand. One way to take away a left hook. Sometimes you just got to take a chance of a guy's countering you punch after another. Just let him keep on. You just, you just keep your fight going. Larry, story of the fight. Body work by Gaddy, boxing by Gaddy. It's one thing to have a plan, it's another to execute it as well as he is doing here. Most rematches, the fighter who won the first fight wins the rematch more easily. That is not happening here. Now, Arturo Gatti's dominance over Mickey Ward is increasing as the fight goes on because his technical plan was the right one and he's executing it. Gatti, 21 out of 38 power shots in round seven. Mickey Ward's face gradually busting up under Gatti's intense punishment. Arturo, as we told you, with bleeding and swelling around the left eye. The uppercut has been another consistently effective blow for Gaddy tonight. Yeah, but if I'm in Mickey Ward's corner tonight, I'm thinking if he doesn't pick things up this round and get going, I'm not going to allow him to just get totally wiped out like he's been. Things are happening for him right now. Mickey like told us yesterday, I've been boxing for 30 years. Ideally, I'd like two more fights. This one, a battle with Castasu. Bye-bye. This may have been the one punch that made his corner decide, okay, I'll give him another round. He hurt Gotti that time. Hasn't been able to land his money punch now. The left hook to the liver for four or five rounds. Good short right hand inside by Gotti. Knocked Ward back. Another perfect job of countering Ward's left. to do. Oh, 
terrific left hook to the body by Gaddy. Ward with the counter left hook that works. Ward is willing to take five punches just to land one left hook, isn't he? That's a throwback to the way it used to be, huh? <laughs> the problem is he's not landing the left hook. He gets in the left hook after he receives about 20 other shots. Another big left hook lands for Getty. Arturo effectively killing time with his footwork now and buying time toward the end of the fight. That's a kind of ring intelligence he has seldom previously shown in his career. Well, when he was a 130-pounder, he showed it. And then he fell in love with being the drama queen or king of boxing. Come on, guys, keep it clean. Which is why he's here now. He's gonna get desperate. Okay? Come don't, on, Come on, baby. Arturo, don't look for the knockout. Okay. Let's just pile up points. Okay? Keep piling up points. He's gonna get desperate. Stay low. Remember how you started early staying low with your hands out? Give me that this round. I just want to feel it. Great, baby. Okay. You go win this fight, Okay. You're in better shape. Keep your hands up. Bend down, forward, up, kind of hook. Bend down. You're not letting you know do it. You're sitting up for it. I'm going to stop it then. Come on, right there. Come on. Are you not alright? Up, I've got a hook. Push him the fuck off you. I'm going to stop it. Push him. We're going to keep it clean. Round nine of a scheduled ten. Two rounds to go. Buddy McGurk has done an excellent job in preparing Arturo Gotti for this boxing match. Buddy McGurk is gathering a reputation very early in his training career as one of the smarter guys in the sport. He knows exactly what he's telling his fighter to do. That's seldom seen in this sport. Round nine of the first fight was like round three of this one. I stopped walking. I got you. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. And regarded by most who saw it as one of the most memorable rounds in boxing history. Round nine here has begun much more slowly and tactically. Even though the two fighters have thrown more punches tonight through the first eight rounds than they did in Connecticut. This Mickey Ward is some kind of iron man, I tell you that. The first fight was like a head-on collision. This is more of a of a one-car accident. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever street Mickey Ward was born on, you better go and get some water off of that if you want to be a fighter. Or whatever grows on that street. Hard work. Hard work. Blue collar lower mass. Stop watching, stop watching. Stop it, stop watching. Okay, let's go. Ward just doesn't seem to have the remaining spark tonight to punish Ward, or to punish Gaddy, I should say, the way he did in the late rounds in Connecticut. You know what? It started off with a lot of a body attack for Gaddy early on. He went straight to the body, and that's what happened. You take it all from a guy early on. That was part of the intelligence of tonight's plan by Gaddy. And his discipline in executing it. Oh, Ward catches him with two right hands. A counter right, and then a big right cross that followed. Conversion. Come on, get the hands free. Come on, guys, let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go. He 
fight. This fight is closer on the official scorecards than on Harold Letterman's. Remember, Gaddy has the edge of the clean knockdown he scored in round three. We are fucking three times higher than you could ever be. Thank you. round with Whatever you are, he's dead. He can't he's move. Dead he's dead, dead, but he's ten times better. Come here. Yeah. Listen to me. Don't fall into this trap. You understand? Yes. Three minutes. Can we do three minutes? Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Give it to me. Come on. Come on, man. Ready to go, man. Ready to go. Bend your head. Bend it. Jam. Don't get caught into a slugfest. Okay? Here, drink this. Arturo, listen to me. Round 20, after 19 rounds of unbelievable combat between Mickey Ward and Arturo Gatti, this one begins with a hug for the two fighters at center rank. Harold, how do you have it scored coming to here? I'll get you. Eight to one. This one can't be close. It's getting too much clean effective punching. I have it seven rounds to two. I think that Gotti has made a mistake for the last three rounds. He laid off and boxed. And that you just can't win fights laying off and boxing for three rounds. That's what he did just to so you, you think he's making the De La Hoya Trinidad mistake? I think he's made a big mistake. You just can't win fights like this. This is a big night to say I'm just going to. What about the early lead he seemed to have piled up? I don't think that you can depend on early leads in a fight like this. If you're a referee, you're human beings just like we are. So when you're saying, you're saying that when Harold says this can't be close, you don't necessarily agree? Not necessarily at all. Okay. Yeah, he still has the knockdown in round three, as I mentioned, and he's still got the energy to fire off combinations like that. I think Gotti should try to pull this round and win this round and win it good. Well, we'll see what happens in the last minute and a half of the round. That's what he's better do. Make it clear. Make it clear. I think he heard your advice, George, and I think he feels the same way. But he's going to leave some openings for Ward if he does that. And there's a huge left hook. Ward batting Gaddy across the ring with that left. And there's Arturo's left in return. Decisively, that there wouldn't be reason for a third fight. Why it, killed the Lily? I mean, you no. Know, we we both thought there was a danger that this fight would be a big letdown <laughs> after what came before it, but it wasn't. It was a worthy sequel. In sure. the tenth round, by CompuBox numbers, Mickey Ward, 21 out of 88 punches. What an effort from Mickey Ward in the 10th. The George 88 is, punches. George, you're shaking your head. Tell us why. Unbelievable. 
I can't believe that two men could give that much of each other. Unbelievable. What was that all about? Nothing. And also, to continue the punch stat numbers, Arturo Gatti deleted, uh, landed 34 of 75 in the round. So both fighters threw a lot of punches and made a big effort in the tent. All right, Michael Buffer has the official particulars on the decision. And let's go up to him right now to find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, a round of applause one more time for these two warriors in this ring here in Atlantic City. Irish Mickey Ward and Arturo Thunder Gotti. The scoring is as follows. George Hill and Luis Rivera score the bout 98 to 91. Joseph Pasquale has it 98 to 90. All for the winner by unanimous decision. Looks like we go to a third bout, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is Arturo Thunder.